Marketing on Instagram? Don't know where to begin? Let us help. Hello world, Mike Ploger once again here with Visme, the online design tool and educator that wants to help you market better. According to a poll from Social Media Examiner, 73% of marketers use Instagram as a marketing platform. That is second to only Facebook. And with a billion people logging on each month, literally, marketing on Instagram is taking off. Yet so many companies struggle to see the benefit. That's because they're doing it wrong. In this video, I'm going to share eight simple tips that will help you market and create engaging visuals on Instagram the right way. Shall we? First, let's discuss image sizes. Instagram likes to scale down our images into 640 by 640 pixels. It seems limiting, however, don't let that number scare you. A 1080 by 1080 photo can be uploaded to Instagram. Even a 1080 by 566 for horizontal photos is acceptable and for the most clarity, go 1080 by 1350 pixels. That's the same as a four by five ratio and it simply performs the best when it comes to Instagram photos. The same can't be said for videos. I'll share the proper dimension for those here shortly. Fun fact, brighter photos get 592% more likes than darker photos. Crazy, right? It even seems a little bit impossible, but think about it. Instagram is meant to be a happy, fun place of escape. There's actually even been a ton of research conducted on the colors within Instagram. More saturation means less likes. Muted palettes like gray, blue, or green perform better than bright yellows or reds. Or how about Instagram filters? Not best for marketers, or is it? The most successful marketers will follow a consistent visual scheme. You may have heard this labeled as photo clustering, and it really helps bring a page all together, like you see here with Nike and Dior. Or you can even go a step further with banner imaging. This will take more preparation in your design, but has been proven to be effective with big announcements. It's also been known to backfire though, so make sure you're very careful and don't overdo it. And let's take a tip out of Coca-Cola's book. They use their signature Coca-Cola Red in nearly every single post. A brilliant marketing idea that keeps viewers engaged. While images still receive much higher engagement, videos are starting to find their place on Instagram. You can find them in a standard post, in stories, on Instagram Live, or on IGTV. And with just the camera on your phone and an easy to use editing app, making professional quality videos really isn't all that difficult anymore. They can be used to help promote products or to build brand trust. Short how-to videos are some of the most successful posts you'll see on Instagram. Just make sure you pick a strong cover and have a powerful first few seconds to really lock in your viewers. Believe it or not, the use of emojis is actually proven to create more engagement. Studies have shown that brands see as much as 47% more engagement when using emojis in their captions. A common misconception may be that emojis aren't professional, but that's just not the case. With the hundreds of different emojis available, there must be that one perfect emoji for any of your posts. Here's a tip. The heart has actually shown to contribute the highest level of engagement when used in posts. See how you can use it. Okay, earlier I mentioned how filters aren't best for marketers, and research seems to back me on that. According to Agora Pulse, non-filtered photos drive engagement. However, a study by Refinery21 found that filters can actually increase comments by 45%. Hmm, at the end of the day, consistency is key. Using the Brooklyn filter for one post, the Helena filter for the next, then Slumber, then Willow, don't do that. If you're going to use a filter, use the same one for every photo to help maintain your brand identity. Valencia has actually shown to be the most effective, unless you're posting food. In that case, go with Skyline. Tip number six, 
Don't nonchalantly choose the perspective of your post. Camera angles are everything. Let's look at some examples. Photos of pizza are best when taken from over top of the pie due to its distinct shape. But burgers should be taken from a 45 degree tilt so the bun doesn't hide the toppings. Experiment when you're taking your photos. Don't be afraid to try a few unordinary angles. When you revisit the photo later, you might find that you really like it. Want more likes? Include more faces in your posts. Seriously, it's another proven fact, this time provided by Georgia Tech. Faces provide nonverbal communication and emotion for a viewer. Who doesn't love to see other people smiling or having a good time? It's hard to not click like when you see photos like these. So if you have a choice between putting a face in a post or not, put yourself in there. Put your coworkers in there. We all want to see those beautiful faces. The addition of stories has been Instagram's best move to date. People can now share content in real time instead of waiting for that perfect time to post. You can pull your followers, record boomerangs, add music, ask questions, you name it. The chances to increase your engagement are readily available and easy to use. Because of the addition of stories, users are now spending more time on Instagram. And that's likely what you're about to do because that's all I have. Implementation of these tips is key. And note that what works for one user may not work for another. However, these tips will definitely help get you on the right track to seeing increased engagement. One final tip, ask for more likes and comments in your posts. I'm going to do that right now and ask that you subscribe to our channel, follow us at VizMe app, and comment below how you're using Instagram, what you've learned, or even any additional tips you have that might help others. I wish you the best of luck creating. For now, with Visme, I'm Mike Ploger, helping you make information beautiful.